Hello and welcome to your fourth and final lesson in this Beginner Tin Whistle video series. I'd like us to think back and we're going to recap the repertoire, recap all the music that we learnt over the previous three videos. So what was the first tune that we learnt? It was Hot Cross Buns starting on our first finger. So let's try and play Hot Cross Buns, the first tune that we learnt on the whistle. Let's play that together. After four. One, two, three, four. Very good. And then in lesson two, the tune we learnt started on our F sharp, was Mary Had a Little Lamb. So let's play Mary Had a Little Lamb together. After four. One, two, three, four. Very good. And then the last tune that we learnt also started on our F sharp, but had much more range. It went higher, didn't it? Because we just learnt two other notes. So the third tune that we learnt was Three Blind Mice. So that starts on our F sharp. And I'd like us to try and play Three Blind Mice together now after four. One, two, three. The tin whistle is most commonly heard in folk music. In particular, it's most commonly heard in Irish folk music. Um, so I'd like us to finish these lessons together by learning a folk tune. We're going to learn an Irish folk tune, and it's called the Kerry Polka. It's a classic Irish tune. Uh, a polka is a type of dance and a type of dance tune. Uh, so listen to me playing it first and then I'll teach it to you phrase by phrase. So let's learn the Kerry Polka phrase by phrase. I'll play you a bit, you play that bit back to me. So phrase one, we're going to start on a B and then play these notes. B, D, E, D, B, D, E, D. Have you got that? Let's get phrase two. G, 
A B A G E D. Got it? Let's put those two bits together. So I'll play you those two phrases, you play them back to me. Got it? Let's get phrase three. B, D, E, D, B, D, E, D. You got it? It's the same as phrase one. So phrase four, or the end phrase of this part of the tune, starts on a G and goes like this. G A B A G G. You got it? Let's put those two phrases we've just learned together and get that half of the tune. Let's put all four phrases that we've just learnt together and that makes up one half of this tune. These folk tunes often come in two parts and we call those parts the A part and then the B part. So what you've just learnt is the whole A part, so you're halfway through the whole tune already. Let's hear how that sounds and then you play it back. So here's all four phrases we've just learnt and that makes an A part. So that's your A part. Practice it up and then we'll learn the B. So ready to learn the B part, the second half of this tune. The B part, funnily enough, starts on a B this time. And phrase one goes like this. B, D, B, A, A, G, E, D. You got it? Let's do that one more time. B, D, B, A, A, G, E, D. Ready for phrase two? I'll play it, you play it back to me. It starts on a G. G A B A G 
E, D. That's right. Phrase two is the same in the B part, the second half of the music, as it is in the A part, or the first half of the music. So let's put those two phrases we've just learned together. We start on a B. I'll play it first. You play it back to me. Let's get the third phrase of this half of the music. B, D, B, A, A, G, E, D. That's right. Phrase three of the B part is the same as phrase one of the B part. Let's do that one more time for lock. B, D, B, A, A, G, E, D. All right? And then we'll learn the fourth phrase and the final phrase of the whole tune. G, A, B, A, G, G. That's right. Phrase four of the B part, of this half of the music, is the same as phrase four in the A part, or the first half of the music. So let's put those two phrases that we've just learned together. After me. Got it? So I'll play you a whole B part and then you play me a B part back. Well done. So practice that B part up and then we can put both the A part that we learned earlier and the B part that we just learned together and then we've got the whole tune. So now, if I put all the phrases of the A part together and then repeat it and all the phrases of the B part together and then repeat that, we've got the full tune. So I'll play you the full tune. Kerry Polka, A part, repeat, B part, repeat. And you have a listen, maybe finger along on your whistle whilst I'm playing, but listening mainly. And then you play that back to me. So here we go, the Kerry Polka.
D E D B D E D G A B A G E D B D E D B D E D G A B A G G and again B D E D B D E D G A B A G E D B D E D B D E D G A B A G G B D B A A G E D G A B A G E D B D B A A G E D G A B A G G and again B D B A A G E D G A B A G E D B D B A A G E D G A B A G G So very well done if you've got that. Um, take a moment just to practice those phrases. Practice those parts, your A part, repeat, your B part, repeat. And then we'll finish off our lesson by playing it through together. One, two, three, four. 